now at six, three people in the hospital after being attacked by a pack of dogs. The youngest victim, a two-year-old little girl. Thanks so much for joining us for the Pixel the News at six. I'm Tamson Fidel. I'm Corey Chambers. This happened in the New Brighton neighborhood on Staten Island. At this hour, those dogs are actually still inside the home. Pick Seven's uh, Amy Yancey uh, has been covering this story, has the latest for us right now. And again, the process of getting the dogs out of the home uh, into custody, it, it's concerning. Tampton and Corey, the reason why it's concerning is because there are so many people out here on the street watching this entire thing unfold. It's taken them a long time, but as you can see, they've started the process of slowly removing the dogs and they're moving a crate right now and putting it down. A dog is in that crate right now. We're told as many as 14 dogs and puppies were living in that house and they will be transferred to animal control. I can hear them barking uh, right now. The victims all have bite marks on their bodies, but are thankfully expected to survive survive this attack. According to the NYPD, they got a call about vicious dogs outside of 250 York Avenue just before one o'clock in the afternoon. And when they got here, there were eight pit bulls still trying to bite people uh, that were outside. Moments later, someone came and put them back in the house. But by then, a two-year-old baby girl, a 13-year-old girl, and a 19-year-old woman had already been attacked, bitten in the legs. The toddler was also bitten in her left side uh, in her arm. They were all rushed to Richmond University Medical Center and, as I said, are expected to recover. Witnesses say the dogs got out of the house via a window that was left open and allegedly were roaming around the neighborhood unattended. Dogs running in the middle of the street, like running back into the house. And then I seen a child um, bleeding on her arm. And then the guy, the, a guy was getting put into the ambulance that was bit in the leg. I was terrified. And the, 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 the boy down that fell over here, I told him, hey, get up and get in here. So I opened the gate and I said, all right, you're on this side of the gate, you're safe now. You stay there until everything's over. Now, PIX11 was on scene shortly after the attack, and we saw when two people uh, claiming to be the dog owners uh, were taken into custody by police. At one point, one of the people shouted, my dogs are not vicious. They have not been uh, charged, uh, but they are being investigated by police. Uh, if you look closely, you can see that a dog is in one of the crates right now. Police say they found evidence, as I said, of at least 14 uh, dogs living in that house. And thankfully, the people that were attacked are expected to recover. But as you can see, uh, an ongoing situation here on Staten Island. I'm Amy NC. Back to you. Amy, thank you so much. Yeah, certainly uh, let us know as mm -hmm. this develops because, again, we all want uh, this to end at, at this point as safely as possible. Thank you.